In this video, you're going to learn how to set up and use the Facebook Business Suite, aka the Meta Business Suite. So the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to business.facebook.com. If you're logged out of Facebook, you should see a screen that looks like this. Uh, if you're logged in, you'll have a create account button in the top right corner. So either way, click create account. It's going to ask me to log in. So I'll go ahead and log in with my Facebook information. And now that I'm logged in to Facebook, I, you can see I've got the option here to click create account. So you wanna click create account, enter the name of your business, whatever you want to call it in Facebook. So I'll just call it something like Andrew's business and then your name and then enter your business email. Then click submit. Once you do that, you'll need to head over to your email inbox, whichever email you use to sign up, find the email from Facebook and make sure you verify your email address. If you don't do that, there's limited functionality. So do that next. Now, once you verify that email address, it should send you over to a screen that looks something like this. Now, if it doesn't look like this, just type business.facebook.com in your browser, hit enter, and it should bring you to this screen. Now, obviously there's not much here at the moment, but there will be soon. So what we're gonna do is take a look at my own business suite account so you can get a feel for what this tool actually does and where everything is. So Business Suite is a unified tool that brings together all of the different assets you have under the Meta brand. Things like Facebook pages, Instagram pages, WhatsApp accounts, Facebook ad accounts and pixels, and anything else that exists within Meta that your business owns. And so you'll see when you log into Business Suite, you have things like a to-do list that shows all of your messages from different platforms like Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger. It shows your recent posts across all of those different platforms like Instagram and Facebook. And over on the left, we've got a menu that shows us all of our different unified notifications. So notifications from Facebook and Instagram, for example, and if we click on inbox, it actually brings together all of our different inboxes like the Facebook Messenger, Instagram Direct, Facebook Comments, Instagram Comments, and you can see all of those along the top as well. And then if we go back to the menu, we can look at posts and stories. And again, these are published posts across all of the different platforms inside Meta. Now, the next thing is actually one of the more useful features here, and that's the planner. This is where you can go in and schedule posts across those different platforms. So there was a time when in order to schedule posts, any real option was to go and use third party scheduling tools. But now the Meta Business Suite actually allows you to schedule posts across Facebook and Instagram and do it pretty well. There are still some things that are lacking, but overall it's a pretty good scheduler. And the last thing to look at here is insights. So the insights screen gives you insights into the performance of your most recent posts. So you can see things like how many people those posts reached and a bunch of other statistics about how your organic content is performing. But now let's go back to the new account and look at how to actually set it up so you've got something like this for yourself. The first thing you'll need to do in your business suite account is actually bring in some of those assets, namely Facebook page, Instagram account, and then people. If you've got people on your team, this is where you can manage them and their access to your different business assets as well. So the first thing we'll do is go down to the settings menu in the bottom left hand corner. So click settings. You should see something like this. The only person in my account at the moment is me because it's a brand new account. And you can see in the menu on the left, we've got a bunch of different options. So the first thing I would do is click on business assets and have a look at what assets you've got. As you can see here, I've got an ad account and some pixels added in already, but you're going to want to start by adding in at a minimum your Facebook page. So let's do that by clicking add assets in the top right hand corner. We'll choose Facebook page. Now you've got a few options here. You can create a new Facebook page. If you don't have a business page already, you would click create a new one and you would set one up for your business. If you do already have one that you own, that belongs to your business, then you want to claim that existing business page to bring it into Business Suite. If you want to get access to somebody else's business page. For example, if you're an agency and you need to get access to a client's page, then you would request access. In this case, I'm going to claim my own business page. I'm going to type in my name here because that's the name of my page. Find the page name, click it and click next. Okay, I can go down here, agree to the terms, claim the page and the Instagram account. So it's actually claimed my Instagram account at the same time because my Instagram account was linked to my Facebook page. In order to bring that Instagram account, it's asking me to log in. So I'll go ahead and click log in. Because I was already logged into my Instagram account in this browser, it's already gone through and logged me in. It might ask you to enter your name and password for Instagram, though, if you're not already logged in. And then once that's done, you can just click on done. Now you can see in my business assets list here, I've got the Andrew Hubbard Facebook page and the Andrew and Hubbard Instagram account which you should definitely follow if you haven't already. Now let's look at what other assets uh, we can add here. So if we click on add assets, you can add a WhatsApp account if you want to, and you can add your ad accounts, 
commerce catalogs if you're in e-commerce and you've got these products catalogs or other things here. So we'll click on that and just have a quick look. If you're in the app space, you can do that as well in business creative folders. Business creative folders are just basically a folder full of media like images and videos that you use for your business. But the thing we're going to focus on next is adding an ad account. And I've actually gone back to my main business account to do this because it wouldn't let me add a new ad account in the other one. You click on add account and it's going to give you the same three options that you saw before. You can either create a new account, you can claim an existing ad account, or you can request share access to somebody else's account. Now, if you are brand new to Facebook ads and you don't yet have a Facebook ad account, you would choose create a new ad account. If you want to claim an existing account, meaning you've already got an ad account, but you just didn't have business suite, then you would click claim an existing ad account to bring it in. Now, if you're claiming an existing ad account, you would click that and it's going to ask you for your ad account ID. The way to get that is to go over to the Facebook ad manager, grab the ID from either in the URL, so you can see it's got account, ACT equals, and then a number, that's your account ID. It's not your business ID. Or you can see it here in this drop down. it's got the ID here. So you'd click the drop down, grab the ID from there. I'm just going to grab it for this example from here. Take it back across, drop the ad account in here, and click next. Now that's going to say, would you like to claim it? Uh, it's going to confirm, you tick the box, you click claim ad account, and that will bring that ad account into your business suite. Now, if you're watching and you don't have an ad account, you would simply click create a new ad account, choose a name, select a time zone and a currency, but be careful what you choose here. Make sure you choose a time zone and a currency that are correct and that you'll want to stick with because you can't change these after the fact. So choose the correct time zone and choose the currency that you want to use on an ongoing basis because you're not going to be able to reverse that decision. So you just give your account a name. So select a time zone, select a currency, hit next. It's going to ask you to confirm again, click that and you would click create ad account. And then you would have a brand new ad account to use with your business and it'll already be added to the Facebook business suite. So at this point, let's look at how we assign access to ourselves or our team members within the business suite. So with each of these assets, you'll see here we've got people with full control and people with partial access, two different columns. And it shows you in each column how many people are actually assigned. And so what we can do is we can choose who within our team, if you've got team members, gets access to the page, to the Instagram account, to the ad account, to the pixels and any other asset. Let's use the Facebook page as an example. If I click on this, I can see that it says I need to review the people. So it's giving me a warning here, as well as clicking on page access, which allows me to see exactly who it is that has access. And if I want to add people, I can click on add people. You can see I can select the people who are within my business right here. And I can turn on and off the options depending on what level of access I want to give that person. So if I want to add new people to the business, I would simply go to people. I can click add people. And here's where you would add these new people. So you'd enter their email address, whatever the email address they use for Facebook, enter their email address, and you can choose whether you want to give them employee access or admin access. Once you do that, they'll enter into your people list here. And then you can go back to assets and you can assign those people to the different assets. Once you've got those business assets inside of your business and you've assigned whatever access you want to those assets, the next thing to do is click on more business settings. And this is actually going to bring you somewhere that might look familiar if you're used to the Facebook business manager. But these are the essentials that you should do whenever you're setting up a new business suite account. The first thing I recommend doing is going down to business info and actually entering all of your business information here. So you can see we've got things like address, tax IDs, and a bunch of other things. Go through and set those up, and I highly, highly recommend you turn on two-factor authentication and set that up as well. Because it is really common for business suite accounts and Facebook accounts to get hacked. And one of the easiest ways to improve your security overall is with two factor authentication. So make sure you set that up as well. You'll also see there's a drop down box here where it says everyone. It's got no one, admin, admins only, or everyone. I recommend you set it to everyone, which means that anyone that you add to your business via the business suite and you give access to different assets is going to be forced to also use two-factor authentication. That dramatically reduces your risk again of getting hacked because it means if you assign somebody access to your business assets, like your Facebook page, your Instagram account, and you reduce the chance of them getting their account hacked and the hacker getting access to your business assets 
via people in your team or people you've given access to. Once you've done that, I recommend heading over to payment methods next and adding a payment method. So you can see here we've got add payment method. That's going to allow you to add either a credit card or a PayPal account to pay for your ads. Now you'll notice there's some repetition inside of this advanced settings menu as well. So if we go to things like accounts, pages, that's simply going to show us the pages that we added in the previous section. And we can see all of our other assets in these different menu items here as well. So once you've gone through all of those steps, you should have something that looks like the Facebook business suite that I showed you at the start of this video. And once you've done that, there are two more really important steps to do next. So I recommend making sure these are the next things you do. First of all, make sure you verify your domains. There's a video here on that. Second, make sure you verify your business with Facebook and there's a video right here that will show you how to do that. Hope you've enjoyed this one. See you next time. Bye.